Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we will take a look at this 3D spinnable cube and you will be mind blown how easy this is. First I've got my clip where I open up my hand, then I pretend like I'm spinning the cube and I close my hand again. To make things easier for the tracker I select the frame where I open up my hand like here cut the clip here and do the same thing at the end where I close my hand again here and also set a cut. I'm doing this because I'm moving my hand too fast for the tracker. So and with this snippet we create a new fusion clip and open it up in the fusion page. First with the media in selected hit shift and spacebar and type in tracker. Then select the frame where your hand is fully visible and I track this finger here, set the adaptive mode to best match, track it back and forth. Once the tracker is finished, go here to operation and operation mode to match move. So everything we plug into this tracker will be tracked. And now you see here at some frames, the tracker didn't work so well. This is because I moved my hand too fast. So I will adjust this manually to have the best results at the end. Just go through frame by frame and here you see this frame is a bit off. So I just take these arrows and place it where they should be. That's it for the tracker. To create our cube we need here the shape 3D. Then we need a merge 3D and a render 3D. Connect the render 3D to your tracker and you got something like this. Put the merge 3D onto your left window. You can tap on this little left dot or just drag the node up here. Here we have our 3D space and you see we have just a flat image. Go to the shape 3D. In the inspector here shape select the cube and you see we have our cube here. To reposition and spin the cube select the shape 3D, hit shift and spacebar, type in transform and we adjust everything with the transform node, not with the shape 3D itself. So we need to reduce the size and the position, we put it up somewhere like here. When you position your cube, make sure your fingers won't overlap your cube because you need to mask them out to make it look realistic and we don't want that so we just place our cube somewhere around here and now you see we have a perfectly tracked cube in our hand. The next step is we want the rotation to the cube. On the rotation you can rotate your cube in every direction you want it to have. I tilt my cube up like this so when I rotate it it looks like this. And now you see my finger is in the front so just go up here and drag it a little bit more up. Now we can go to the rotation, go to frame 0, set here a keyframe and type in 0 only on the Y rotation. Then I go further to the frame where I tap on the cube here, then type here in like 90 so from the start until i tap the cube it does a rotation like 90 degrees but it's on the wrong side so we need to type in minus 90 so it rotates in the right direction then here when i tap it i want to have the spin faster and then it goes slow again so i just set a keyframe on the very last frame here and I wanted to have it like maybe one and a half rotation, so minus, let's say 500 degrees, press enter. Open up your splines up here with the spline, click here on this little icon, zoom to fit and your curve looks like this. So when you look here, we have the beginning, it does only a 90 degrees rotation and then from here it spins faster, but we want to have it slow it down at the end. So what we can do is we select the last keyframe, press S and adjust the curve like this and select this one and just drag this one down here without pressing S. So it's a constant rotation from these 90 degrees, then it goes very fast and slows down like this. Perfect. The next step is we only want to have the outline of our cube. To do this we need a background node and a rectangle node. 
plug the rectangle into your background and the background into your shape 3D. Select the background, choose a color you want, then select your rectangle and over here disable solid and by the border width type in like 0.02, press enter and you've got your cube like this. And what's very cool about this, you can adjust the width and the height with these sliders. And to have them synchronized the whole time, go over here to width or height, double tap and type in equal and press enter. Then just connect it with the height. And now when you adjust the height, the width will be synchronized the whole time. Turn it up all the way to one. So the only thing we need to do in our animation is I want to have the cube here fully visible on around frame 8. Set here a keyframe, go back to the beginning and I turn this one all the way down. So when we play it back, the cube appears like this. And we do the same thing at the end. Here, 8 frames before it ends, set the keyframe, go all the way to the last and reduce it. And of course, down here at the splines, we select these two, press S, and then you can press T to open up this menu, and then ease in all the way up to 100. The last two keyframes, S, ease out all the way up to 100. To make it look even better, go down here to your render 3D, hit Shift and Spacebar and type in Soft Glow, and now adjust the glow to your liking and this is how you can create the spinnable 3d cube have fun creating and see you in the next one